Hey guys, it's Darn Ridgely here in the Chattanooga downtown Keller Williams office. And coming back from Family Reunion, I just wanted to talk about a few things that we're going to um, implement immediately. It's funny when you go to one of these conferences, often there's just way too much, and that can definitely be the face or the uh, situation with Family Reunion. But four things that we're going to do right now, starting today, to improve our business in 2012 are as follows. Uh, I went to several classes on video, and I'll be honest, I went to the video classes expecting to get great advice on how to edit video, how to shoot video, how to make it shine, how to do this, maybe how to do your makeup, you know, you know lighting, all the advanced techniques, and overwhelmingly the response uh, to video was, don't edit, do one take, one shot, one idea, let it go, keep it under two minutes, and send it out. So it was more the idea of shoot a video a day even. You know, sit down, shoot one video a day, and send it out to the world, and just see what kind of response you get. Uh, be more authentic, worry about more about your authenticity and your message than polishing it up and editing it. Um, on Craigslist, we do a lot with Craigslist. Uh, have been, have really worked on it, gone to several education seminars, looked up a lot of information online. And really what I learned in Craigslist is, is it's not that we're doing anything wrong. It's just that we can do a lot more. We've been posting 9 to 12 ads a day. The guys that I talk to out in uh, out at Family Reunion, you know, maybe Al B. Voss or Lori Ballin, they're posting three to four hundred times a day. Now, keep in mind the Las Vegas market may see six thousand posts a day, so that's why they're at that volume. But we looked at it, kind of did the ratios, and we learned from my area I should probably doing be doing at least forty five posts a day, if not eighty, to truly dominate. That has a twofold effect. One, obviously it's going to bring a lot of buyer leads in, a lot of buyer leads in, and you're going to be able to take those as a cold lead, turn them into a warm lead, and turn them into an appointment um, with your 10 days of pain or whatever system you're using to get to them via email. What we also talked about was some of those people that are looking to buy a home and are perusing you know, on Craigslist, seeing what's on the market, they have a house to sell. If they get the idea over and over and over again that you're the authority when it comes to controlling buyers in the town that you're advertising in, they're going to call you when it comes time to list because they're going to have that top of mind awareness and say, well, Darn Ridgely, he's the guy that advertises all the homes for sale. That's who I need to call. So Craigslist is a matter of volume. You're not, you know, the one thing that they told me was, look, with Craigslist, you're not fishing with a hook. You're throwing a net out there. So think of it that way. How big of a net are you casting? Um, and then going back, you know, of course, I did a lot of video classes. I did a lot of internet classes, did a lot on the technology front. But one thing I was reminded of was, the two-foot rule has never gone away, and what I mean by that is if somebody is within two feet of you, hand them a business card, engage in conversation with them, you know, somehow let them know gently, maybe you're wearing your name tag, maybe you have a business card, that you are in real estate, and if they need your assistance, you're there to help them. Uh, you know, one person, that's how they live their entire life, that's how they get to all their business. You know, whereas me, if I'm hurting for business, I'm going to sit down, I'm going to write a bunch of Craigslist ads, or I'm going to get on the phone and call a bunch of Fizbos or Expires. You know, that person is going to go out and hit the sidewalks and get within two feet of enough people that they gain some business. Um, so that was just an interesting perspective of don't forget some tried and true methods that work. And then finally, you know, social media is a big buzz right now and how you use it. Do you use it by overwhelming people, um, you know, with your listings and stuff? No, that's not how the people that are utilizing it the best use it. There's all sorts of different ways to engage with your friends on Facebook. And, and do so in a non-threatening way. And one of the easiest, one of the best pieces of recommendation I got at Family Union was go on your Facebook, click on your Friends tab, find five friends a day that you haven't spoke to in a good long time, and write down, Hey Ron, haven't talked to you in a long time. I was just wondering, how's it going? Send those messages out there and see who reconnects with you. So, you know, that was something that we started already and we've reconnected with a few people. And remember, it's not about them buying something from you. It's about them having a need in your area. So just remember that. Video, shoot them often. Craigslist, post a lot. Two-foot rule, don't forget to meet people in person and hand them a business card. Facebook, reconnect. Rekindle relationships that have kind of gone by the wayside on Facebook and you, you know, no telling where that will go. So I hope you find these four little tips useful. Those are the four things we're doing right away from Family Reunion and we'll get back to you with more tips that we learned out there. Thanks a lot.